Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys subscribe, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So, for my 350Z, basically I got this car salvaged, and this is my two. The first thing I want to be able to do, like any other rice and boy out here in town, is that we're gonna go ahead and change the case port coilo to case port coilo, and also get a new set of rims. The rim type that I'm going to be getting will be SR 04s, 19 inch by 9.5 and 19 inch by 10.5. The second thing I'm going to be getting on this car is going to be getting a speaker upgrade because A, the speakers in the 350Z and obviously the radio, which I've already changed by the way, is trash, disgusting to me, compared to what I used to drive. We're not going to talk about that car because it's Wait. We're not going to talk about the car. That's all we're going to say. Because every time I think about it, it just makes me want a car. Wait, what car? What other car? The grand silver. Huh? Oh, about the speaker upgrade. <laughs> we're going to be throwing possibly, I really want a boat system in here. Not the Nissan boat system, but an actual nice boat system kit for the outer radio. And then what we're going to do to this car is that we're going to actually put the we're going to add a subwoofer to the back of the seat for the driver's side. Some people are going to say, oh, it's going to rattle, bro. You're not going to like it, bro. That's rice as hell. But guess what? I don't care. Next on the list is that I want to get some adjustable suspension parts such as camber, lower control arms, tie rods, all that good stuff. I want to have all of those things. And that's I want to have everything ordered and shipped before. I do anything to this car so we can have plenty of install videos for you guys. You have to watch my boring ass vlogs because you don't want to watch that. Don't watch that. Fourth thing, or let's say the fifth thing, I don't even know what I'm, I'm not counting. I didn't count. How many times did you cheat on her? Sorry, I didn't count. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to have to do the interior because in the interior of a 350Z, we obviously have trash on trash because everything chips, peels, rips, 
It's made of plastic. Um, currently, right now, my whole front dash is pretty chipped up. It doesn't look too, I mean, it's, it's drivable, so, I mean, the car drives. We're gonna change the, of course, the front, the window, you know, a little window thing, the window panel. And we're gonna go ahead and use gloss carbon fiber to change it. Basically, the whole car is inside is mainly gonna be carbon accented instead of repainting because it's gonna peel again, and why would I do that? Because I don't feel like painting and taking apart the door panel twice. I've already done it one time. That. Thanks, Randy. Other things that I'm gonna do in the interior, of course, I'm gonna have to add me in the steering wheel. I'm not gonna tell you guys the color yet because I have way more plans for this car. I pretty much have a set idea, but I wanna see how things go along and let this channel grow without you guys getting spoiled, kids. Actually, the first thing that should have been done to this, this car, what we should have done first, like the very first thing we should have did, that I should explain to you guys now, because I told you guys in recent, recent videos, is that we need to repaint the side of this car, the beauty, the beauty, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful side of this car. Pretty much the first week of me owning this car, I had the whole car repainted, and somebody, someone that loves me so much, decided to just keep the whole car. And it was fine and all, but the, the clear coat starts peeling, as you guys can see, and it ran all the way down from this fender to the quarter panel all the way to the back and it got worse as it rained and clear coat continued peeling down and peeling and peeling and peeling and peeling so i had to do some trappy ass work on one door just to keep it from destroying itself and we're just gonna get that done we're probably gonna have the whole car be clear coated again because it didn't mess up the base load it messed up the base part of the side another thing that this car needs to be changed by the way is Spindle. So I got this car from Copart and basically I had a collision where this was destroyed. This was destroyed but I changed both lights because who does that? Who changes one light that has one haze and one not haze? It looks cool. Bro. Come on now. No. 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 We um, basically changed this, the headlight. Um, we had to paint some of this because it kind of got a little bit. And we had a little suspension issue because it got hit primarily over here. So, I just pretty much changed the shocks, which I should have just waited for because I'm going to get coiled anyway. And I changed the shocks. I changed the control arms. And now the last thing to change should be the spindle. I believe the spindle is bent, so now my car has a really weird negative camber on this one wheel has like when you drive you feel it once you get to like 60 miles per hour or 70 miles per hour the car starts having the steering wheel shake and there's no point last thing i'm going to do because it's my least least desirable thing to do on my list for this summer this is all going to happen in three months by the way you guys three months two months maybe one maybe two weeks I'm obviously lying. It's not going to happen. The last thing I'm going to do anyways is going to be a new exhaust. Or maybe I'll just go straight pipe it like everyone else is telling me to. But we're going to get a new exhaust. The new exhaust, I don't know. I'm going to go all the way back. Except I'm going to go, I'm not going to go past the catalytic converter. I'm just going to change most of it all the way to the back. You guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know the terms, and I'm not gonna sit here and look it up and pause my video and then try to sound smart because I'm not, and I don't know what I'm doing, and that's why you guys are on this journey with me as I learn about more things that I don't know about. Things of things that I don't know of things of things. And I don't even know what I just said. So that's pretty much it on what I'm going to be doing with this car. Make sure you guys like, make sure you guys comment if you have any questions or if you guys are gonna help me improve on my videos, like for example, my camera quality, I'm not the best yet, we're not the best yet. So if you guys have any, or you just wanna just throw hate comments, you can do that too because you know, it all helps me and my channel. But make sure you put a thumbs up, make sure you like and subscribe, make sure you tell your friends, make sure you share, make sure you do everything because I wanna be out there just like the rest of you. So I can have a better life than you can do. Bye, right, you guys. Bye. Make sure you keep your L's. Two L's make a W. Peace.
Hey guys. Bro. I'm telling you. You were just watching that movie. Where it got interesting, bro. And I was I was just waiting. You're recording now? Okay. No, that's what the wheels are for. <laughs> Missing someone. Missing someone.